there is conversation to be had about how VTubing can serve the different types of communities, in what ways it can provide not only sources of income or outlets of creative talent. And fuck, I forget where I was going to go with that. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. That's a good spot for the intro. There are different ways that VTubing or that indie and corporate VTubing interact and play their roles in how the VTubing community at large conducts itself. A lot of people do take inspiration and follow along with the ideas that or the ideas and ways that corpo VTubers present themselves and how they conduct their content. That does lead a lot of people in the indie VTuber scene to be, well, what is it? To try and emulate that to, you know, achieve success on their own. But that isn't the only way to achieve success as a VTuber. Or should on what role VTubers companies should play if VTuber companies... Or if VTuber company owners really want to put their talents and VTubers in the center, then, well, yeah, then they could actually be promoting. I have heard talk of, what was it, Niji Sanji Indonesia and another one, I believe, were feeling like they were not getting promoted at all. So they kind of graduated. Uh, maybe at the very least have their voices or, and takes heard in the center, like V Jojo, V. Ah, the shoujo saying they are a VTuber centered or VTuber first company. There is a part of me that has an issue with the idea of VTuber first. Because while, yes, everybody does get attached to the VTuber themselves, the Oshi, if you will, there are so many people that work in the background of like, V Shoujo and Hollow Live that don't always get the recognition that they deserve. I don't know much about the contracts available to them, but that might be an issue with them. Who knows if the artists are being paid what they deserve? Withdrawing, and soon enough, I'll ask my viewers if they have disabilities that I can talk with it. When I post it, oh, nice. It is important to honestly promote that because, you know, there's not, lot, not enough um, avenues that actually portray people with disabilities as, you know, people. A lot of media presents them as, or presents those types of people as like a, a minority that doesn't really need to be discussed. But honestly, I think it does. That's why I've been making a pretty big push to talk more about people with disabilities. I have I have been promoting quite a few of the uh, indie scene that I can for VTubers with disabilities. Maybe at the most have VTubers get a bigger share of the pie and stake when it comes to the economic benefits. Instead of just VTubers receiving salaries, maybe they could become stakeholders and part owners of the company, a step towards making group more towards a worker cooperative. Oh, yeah, I like that idea. Though I don't think we would actually be able to push V Shoujo or Hollow Live or Niji Sanji to actually be able to unionize. I think that kind of their culture is already too ingrained, but I do think there is a room or there is a place for that kind of mentality for an in agency to thrive. So perhaps I should look into smaller agencies that are running like a cooperative like what i want to see more of because if i don't have to be or if, even if i'm not the first i don't care i just want to see more more vtubers more artists more riggers more musicians animators all those people in the background i want them to also have a stable income stable income and like be able to you know, live their lives with dignity. There's so many people that don't have the ability to, you know, make regular careers out of for themselves. There's plenty of people that just 
can't stand for eight hours straight. That's simple as simple as. Uh, can also start change can also start from the outside. Yes, when Nasagi said that only that it only take only quote unquote takes twenty thousand start a VTuber company. I'm wondering if it's possible to convince a few investors or peeps with months. Honestly, I'm wondering that too. Or perhaps if I had, you know, a little bit of business schooling, then I could potentially apply for like a loan to start up a company myself, but I don't have that. Uh, to adopt the worker cooperative model instead of talent, talent agency group model. Yeah, like a lot of these agencies run as the talent agency group. I don't. I do wonder how many artists, riggers, that kind of thing, are regularly part of, like, consistently employment with like B Shoujo and Niji Sanji and stuff. That's the big thing I worry about. It's the background people you never hear about. You know, if Iron Mouse were to graduate. You don't know if her artist got replaced. Honestly, it costs like 10 bucks to buy a website domain, have a lawyer to copyright and contract. Amazing we are without our disability ruining. Oh, some people don't understand if disability need to be visible, but some disability you cannot see, like mental health or chronic illness, but now they, they make it easier to show how amazing we are without our disability ruining. True, like Iron Mouse in specific. I love using her as my example because she is immunodeficient. She literally can't leave her house. It, it, It's a risk to her life to open the door. And yet she's been able to regain a semblance of control over her life again thanks to her success with... She's with V Shoujo, right? I should know this. I'm a drama tuber. Actually, I actually don't know who Iron Mouse is. Oh, Iron Mouse is honestly the biggest female streamer. And she's a person with disability, immunodeficient. Money will mostly go to paying people in production. Yeah, it would go to paying people, the production, the artists, and advertising. Co-founder of CEO Hololive JP is praised for his care and compassion for his talents. But what about other folks behind him and him who started the company? Exactly. That's like, I do want like the VTubers themselves to be treated with respect. I also want their artists to. I want their animators, their technicians, everybody. I just want everybody to have a basic, basic line of dignity that they can achieve and enjoy their life. How, to the fullest extent that they can. Yep, V Shoujo? Okay, I thought so. I thought she was V Shoujo. Uh, there's a Japanese VTuber highlights disability awareness. Sweet! We need more of that. But there is definitely... There is definitely concern for, like... Corpo VTubers not being able to. Iron Mouse was the biggest female Twitch streamer. Okay, v, uh, Twitch streamer specifically. I, I don't know. I'm recalling an article. But there is worry that um, VTubers that sign up for corporations or agencies would not quite be able to talk about what they real what really matters to them like something that Cirrus had mentioned in our conversation like i totally understand that some people just they don't really care if they are allowed to talk about any old topic and they they want to be able to enjoy being an entertainer being a force of fun in the world. So I, I can totally understand and relate to why people would go for the agency lifestyle or the corpo VTuber lifestyle. I just personally don't find that for me. If 
about all the contracts they have to sign? Yeah, and the thing is, those contracts are usually kept under lock and key. The public doesn't get to see them. It's only the the age or the talent and the agencies that know what what's in the contracts. Most of the time, I'm willing to bet there's a non-disclosure agreement, so they can't even talk about it. And I don't personally blame specific or individual corpo VTubers for not talking about every old thing that I think should be talked about or what I think should have more awareness brought to it. They're doing their thing. I don't control their platform. I don't get to tell them what they do with their platform. I just get to comment. I like making my commentary. Jail? Why are you jailing me emojis? And also, after the aftermath of the Taiwan mentioned in Chama and Coco Kaicho's streams in 2020, Hololive has created an internal ethics that supposedly screens. Really? What? What even did Coco say about Taiwan? That she supports its independence? The Internal Ethics Committee that supposedly checks for content that VTubers stream under the idea of protecting the talents? Oh, Yokobo, you totally should. I want to see more streamers out there. I want to see more content. They add these? What? What? What's that emoji? I don't... Was it literally that she mentioned Taiwan or was it that she endorsed its independence or endorsed the one China narrative? I China canceled her? Oh, okay. So I'm willing to bet she supported Taiwan's independence then. Or at least spoke vaguely and sounded like, like uh, she supported the independence even without explicitly stating it. Because you know how people love to jump into definitions. <laughs> I really hope you do, Yakobo. They mentioned the word Taiwan and many Chinese nationalist fans came in force and harassed her and other hollow live talents. Really? They j she just mentioned Taiwan. She mentioned Taiwan in her YouTube analytics because she was going over that and she got canceled for that. Wow. Like, I know people love to run with their narratives, but Jesus Christ. They're, they're going for a marathon with that one. But yeah, I mean, that's just kind of how it is with being a big public figure and going with an agency does make you a big public figure really quick. Like Any sort, it doesn't matter how safe for work, how friendly, how non-toxic you present, no matter how big you get, there will always be people that hate you for one reason or another. There will be people that find reasons to hate you just because they like being contrarian against bigger people sometimes it's it's ridiculous it's stupid but i'll say fuck chinese government any day of the week they suck true i really hate that they call themselves communists but then they're a authoritarian country it's so annoying like i want to push you know socialism and stuff but you can't talk you can't say the word socialism or communism and then get people to agree with you that have no idea because that word is already stigmatized to them. We can only push the uh, the ideas about them without directly referring to them. Hololive, Hololive had to graduate her because of that? Because their main investigator were from time. What? Wait. It wasn't Coco that had to graduate, was it? I thought Coco was still going around. So to prevent controversies like that, Hololive created an internal ethics committee and actually Coco felt that her creativity and streaming became restricted. 
Like the Nazis, they had behind the names. They had behind the name they fight against. True. Oh, 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 okay. Because their main investigator was from China, not Taiwan. Now, it's the committee restricting her. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if she felt even further restricted because she just mentioned a country that some people happen to be zealous about. More of an amicable separation. Kaicho decided to leave Hollow Live. Okay, so it wasn't like a firing graduation. It was just, I guess, the best kind of graduation. And now she's streaming under a well-known persona. Wait, Coco? Coco Kaicho? I, I want to know her new persona. Because, like, I... My first interaction or knowledge of Coco was the meme, fine, take me to horny jail. Everyone there is horny anyways. And then that kind of, you know, inspired that picture. But at first, I, it took me a while to even realize that that was a VTuber. I just thought it was a cute anime girl. And then I covered that, um, what's it? That little segment that Coco did about giving advice to her viewers, which is actually one of my most disliked videos, surprisingly. And um, then when I was finding art for the thumbnail, it was like, holy shit. That's the meme girl. And it makes sense that, you know, a bigger VTuber had a meme. DM it to you. Not so not any shale. <laughs> sort of, Yeah. Yeah, Coco did uh, inspire one of my memes. But, it, I mean, to be loot. Kason. Wait, Kason is Coco? Am I being fucked with? Is it the fun way? She is? It's also a big no-no for VTuber communities to talk about past lives of VTubers. I mean, I've seen that sentiment for um, for other VTubers. I mean, as long as you're not trying to defame somebody, I don't personally have an issue with it. Like, what is the issue with talking about past lives? Because as far as I'm concerned, if you can't talk about a corpo VTuber that graduates... That just effectively kills their any future career of, you know, being a uh, creator afterwards. They essentially have to start from scratch, even though they've had years of experience. They still have to start over. They can't. A lot of them can't um, reference their old lives because of, you know, NDA agreements that they signed. It has something to do with intense privacy concerns in the J JP VTuber spheres. Yeah, like I'm I'm gonna say I I'm okay with finding out that Coco is Kason now. That's cool. Don't share their IRL info. That's that just seems common knowledge to me. But like I mean, I kind of see it as a corporate rebranding for her at this point. I, I didn't know. I didn't know. Now I'm going to pay more attention to Kason. <laughs> Many JP VTubers, both Indian and corporate, have faced stalking and harassment. That doesn't quite surprise me, honestly. Your VTuber history community? Most controversial niche? Oh, shit. You do VTuber history? I want to see that. I, I want to... No, it's not letting me click from restream chat. Uh, Leaf, I'm looking into your stuff soon. 
because like you know i like learning more about the vtubers and different ways have i noticed that they wear gloves in jp vtuber streams huh i guess i guess a lot of them do wear gloves why is that? Oh, don't join VT history niche. I will be hate hunted and hated by VTubers. Well, I mean, I'm trying to push politics. Um, I know Kyo had talked positively of Depressed Nusagi, and like I talk positively of Depressed Nusagi, and he's kind of, at least to both of us, we consider him the VTuber historian. Like, who talks shit about Nusagi? I will fight them. Supposedly to avoid getting identified by stalkers and also avoiding reflections on mirrors and memes and stuff. That's why they wear gloves for their VTubers? Oh, wait, no. When they do, like, um, I think it was Onigiri, I think, did, like, cooking stuff where she had her hands on stream. Okay. Wait, Nusagi got canceled? That's why he disappeared? When a VTuber does a flesh stream? Ah, yeah, I, I, heard, I like to use the term flesh tuber. I have heard the term bio tuber as well. I don't even know what happened with Nusagi. I just know I've liked his videos that I've seen. Ah, cancellation's a bitch. <laughs>